Shalom. 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 First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and then all the brothers out here pushing this word out in truth, sincerity, and charity to the correct doctrine. Basically, want to pull a couple of scriptures out, you know, uh, prove uh, with facts, you know, false doctrine versus uh, true doctrine, you know, because we got to make our people aware of these false camps and these false prophets and these false leaders out here, you know, spewing madness out. You know, but basically, you hop right into the scriptures, man. And let the scriptures speak. Come. Come. This is Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Right, man. So if they not speak, if they not speaking to this word, man, if they not give you the 100% doctrine the correct way, man, in truth, sincerity, and with charity. They not tell you about the prophecies, man. They not tell you who the tri twelve tribes of Israel is, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans today. They not tell you who the main enemy is in the Bible, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man today. Uh -huh. Hey, man, ain't no lie in them, man. Stay away from them, avoid them at all costs, man, because they give you madness and they give you lies, man. What's awesome is gonna lead to destruction, man. Only way you'll get salvation is the correct doctrine. Period. This is Second John, um, chapter one. I'm start at verse nine. It said, Whosoever transgresseth and biteth not in the doctrine of Hamashiach have not the Most High. He that abideth in the doctrine of Hamashiach, he hath both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bide him the Most High speed. For he that biteth him, Yahweh speed, is a par is partaker of his evil deeds. Right, man. So if you're not preaching this doctrine of truth, sincerity, and charity, 100% of the scriptures tell you, not of a private interpretation, not how you feel, not how we feel, man. As the scriptures say, man, you going off, man. Not only is you going off, man, you don't have the most high. You don't have who the true, you don't have the true power man who the real you call Jesus and give them titles as the Lord God Heavenly Father you don't have your how with the Father and your how with the Son because that come with the doctrine and yeah and, and to add to what the brother said hey man through that name man through your how with Yahushai that's the real power man you have nothing if you don't have your how with man you for real just another lost cause man another lost soul um, it's part of the doctrine come the, the Name is a heavy deal part of the doctrine, man. And that's a deal. That's how that that's that's something that you can use to identify who's pre preaching the truth and who's not, man. Right, man. Because in, in our language, man, ain't no O's, no U's, no E's in Hebrew. And why I said that is because you got a lot of people out here say Yahweh, Yehoshua, and just madness, man. Yoga, those, yoga. those doctrines are not right, man. Those teachings of them names are incorrect, man. And it's a lot of brother for cutting you off. No, you ain't coming off of but, but, for real, all it takes is diligent research, brother thought. All it takes is diligent research. If you do your diligent research, you come to find out the truth, man. Like I always say this example, man. Nobody's going to give you what you're really looking for. You have to get out there on your own and go get it. So it's the same thing with the truth of the world, man. They give you that, that, that whole African BS. At the church, they give you that church doctrine, man. That's not the truth because it's given to you, man. They always say if you want something, you gotta work hard for it, man. You gotta work hard for this truth, man. And then once you find the truth, you gotta work even harder to remain in the truth, man. Yeah. To stay grounded, mm -hmm. to actually be, to actually strive to be part of that number, the one hundred forty-four thousand, man. Mm -hmm. That's a heavy deal, man. So you actually gotta really do the work, man. Pray to be protected from these false prophets and doctors, man. We could have been under that, man. That ain't nothing good to glory in. We give all praise and glory and honor and say, the water, Yahweh Bashem out shot, give thanks that we did come under that. We came under the great man. But if anybody is under them camps or are you listening and watching them, man, that's not that's not cool. They preaching the wrong name. It's not cool when they give you false water down doctrine, man. And, you know, we go jump to the scriptures, man. Let the scriptures speak. Okay. This is Romans chapter 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brother. Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. 
Right, man. So we got to avoid them, man, who cause the division, those fallouts, those sellouts, those who got kicked out because they was preaching false doctrine and other tribes and not, you ain't got to keep the law and just, just madness, man. A lot of men got kicked out. A lot of men fell out. And when they did that, and a lot of men sold out. And as a result, what they do, man, they start preaching madness. They start preaching doctrines, how they feel, and things not according to this law, man. That's because ain't no light in there. And the most high can do that to anybody, man. That's why you stay humble in this thing. Like I said, man, you got to continue to fight to stay in this thing, man. Because this is not no joke, man. This is real. And this is part of your salvation. This is part of doing the crap. Uh, if you want, if you see it, if you got faith, man, you're going to do it. You're going to preach the right word, man. If you want mercy and salvation. Come. Verse 18. For they that are such serve not yeah, the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Right. Right, man. So they deceive and simple people. The average person, oh, he cool with the breakdown. Oh, they're going into reptilians and are oh, they going into uh, this and that. And but the ad, it says with good words and fair speeches. So they they preaching that. Hey, they just giving you what's good out the scriptures, man. Smooth words, man. Not telling you who the enemy is, uh -huh. man. Stuff that you learned in the world with the just madness, man. Bringing the world into this truth, man. And they're supposed to be completely separate, man. They serve their own belly, man, because they. Want the fame, they want the glory, man. They sell out for the money, man. Uh -huh. The great man that we under, they don't do that, man. They preach the truth, and they go out the weekend and week out, thirty plus years, start the ills on down, and whoever brothers been laboring, you know, for they amount of years, they doing it for free. They don't care about no money, they don't care about no dollar, they don't care about what the white man bring, and they don't even care. We don't even care about our lives, man. You know, we carry ourselves to a certain extent, you know, we live like men, we take our business, but none of this stuff don't matter. Only thing that matters is word and these scriptures, man. Yeah, how about some out shot, man? Cause like the brother said, man, like 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 to add what the brother said, the elder always say we come in, we can, we can putting our lights on the line, man. Cause hey, man, anything can happen to us out there, man. Anything. And then the whole deal is the reason why they will come up against us, and the reason why they come and do any type of crazy stuff to us, because we giving them the good, the bad, and the ugly. We giving them the whole truth. We're not just preaching good things, man. Things that's pleasing to the earth. Or oh, what we, we think. Exactly. Or what we think, man. Because in 17 and now, Lord, where we can get that, man. Hey, it tells you, man. The heart is deceitful above all things, man. So look, man. The whole deal is we preaching what the, the word of the Lord, man. And this is what the Lord says, man. So with that being said, we preach the good, the bad, and the other. We tell Sodomites, man, y'all supposed to be put to death. The Lord not dealing with y'all. That, that's a cut to their spirit. Mm -hmm. They don't like, people don't like getting corrected, especially our people. Mm -hmm. Who is the so-called Negro, Latino, the Native American? They don't like correction. So when you correct them, and if it's if it's a heavy deal correction, it's going to cut them to the spirit, man. They're going to be there, baby. Man. Man, they ready to do all type of stuff, man. We, so we've seen from past experience, we see from the experience of us just being in the truth. Come. We see it, man. That was it on that. Come. I got, um, Hebrews. This is Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Yeah, I was shining my shot the same yesterday and today and forever. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines. For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats, which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. And the whole deal with that is, hey man, you you go out, man. You can be uh, you can be involved in the Egyptology, whatever BS. You can be involved. You talking about the whole um, Islam deal? You can be a Baptist, Christian, Catholic. Hey, you even got some Jake that want to be in Jude Judaism, even though you're the real Jews, man. But none of that stuff will profit you at the end of the day, man. Right. Cause all of that is a false doctrine. It doesn't have the power of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai behind it, man. And if it ain't got that power, man, it's nothing. It's weak, man. That's weak sauce, man. Mm -hmm. if, if it ain't got the Lord in it, you, it, it ain't going to strive, man. It's not going to do nothing. It's not going to go nowhere. Because mm -hmm. just because it's not backed by the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. And that's it, man. You, you, you guys, man, and that whole deal with that too, man. It said, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh the same yesterday, today, and forever, man. So, 
He, we know we come in the value of the book, man. So we dealing with the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Apocalypse. Nah, I was just thinking that too. That's crazy you said that because when you look at, you know, you got a lot of people out here telling you that uh, the heathen Gentiles can be saved. Them other nations, which is not a part of the 12 tribes, they can be saved, man. If the scriptures in the covenant was for the Israelites in the Old Testament, who do you think the Gentiles is in the New Testament, you know? And the it's not going to change, man. Come. To add what the brother said, man, even in Acts, man, Peter, Peter brought it out when he was, um, Shalaki, y'all. In Acts, the fifth chapter, man, Peter said, man, the Lord, Yahweh Shai came to give repentance to Israel, man. Even Paul broke it down in Romans, the ninth chapter, man. So, all that extra stuff, man, what do the scriptures say? Let's get into what the scriptures say. These scriptures, <coughs> Barack thought, brother, Shalaki. hey. These scriptures is something you cannot gain, say, man. You okay. can't get around these scriptures, period. It's the truth, man. It ain't what we think, man. See, if it was us, you probably could catch us up in our words or whatever, man. It ain't about what we think, man. We, we, we learn from the best. We break these scriptures down, how they posey broken down, what it says and what it means, precept upon precept, line upon line. Yeah. But right now, man, we just tell you, let you know, man, true doctrine versus false doctrine, man. And we let you know the true doctrine with the scriptures, and we let you know the false doctrine with the scriptures. Not telling you, but we tell we tell you experience. We give you examples. That is, that's about it. But with, with this word, we give you the word, man, hundred percent, because we learn from the best, man, the great man of Great Millstone, the elders of New York, on down. Come, let me um, I want to just quick preach that. Go ahead. This is Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse eight. It says, "But we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth." Come, man. So hey, no matter if you try to make smear campaigns or nothing, man. Hey, this word still get pushed out, and you can't do nothing to get it. You can't do nothing to get it, man. You, you might be doing something for it just by making your videos. Is that, that's what the scripture said. It says you will do it. You can do it. Read it again. <laughs> Second right. Corinthians 13, 8 said, For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. So even you coming up scoffing the men of the Lord, it was prophesied that that would happen to the men of the Lord, man. It was prophesied that they would be persecuted, man. Mm -hmm. It was prophesied that they should be hated for the name of Yahweh. How about Shem Yahweh man? Spoken evil of, man. Who, who, who fit that category, man? Who out here being talked about, smear campaigns, all you camps teaming up to talk stuff about the man of Great Millstone and making false accusations and just lying, man? Because if it was true, man, somebody would have been locked up. By somebody would have been on the news, but it's not true, man. They give you the, you, it's, it's like being in the world. Like being in the world, right? When you, when you know, you, you come across a motherfucker that's hating you. You like, damn, what he hating on me for? I ain't did nothing wrong to him. I ain't. All I'm doing is shit, is staying out of my way. You know, just you know, keeping my kicks fresh and just doing me. But you walk up the block, what they want to do? They want to jump on you and beat you up, take what you got, cause why? They ain't got it. And just, man, I not say that to apply to the truth, man. They hate on the great man of Millstone, man. They they mad. And they they see where you got it and they want it. They try to take it from you, but you can't. Because they can't do nothing with you. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, they cannot come up against you, man. The Lord said he would give us a mouth that they cannot gainsay. That, think about it, man. If somebody always calling you out on your stuff, man, and you can't do nothing but get mad because he's calling you out for what it is, and it's the truth, man. Like how we just read, you can do nothing against the truth only for it. So, bro. It, it's, it's a real vexation, man. It's a real vexation. Like, sometimes you got to sit back and think back. Just think about certain things. Dwell on things, man. Uh, uh. But, um, I got that scripture in Timothy. Oh, yeah, you can go ahead and uh, This is First Timothy chapter 6. I'm going to start at the top. It says, Let as many servants, Salaki, let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters, work, work Salaki, Salaki. Count their own masters worthy of all honor. Right. So who is who is the who is the service under the yoke, man? That's us. Is talking about man. It's not talking about you know no worldly BS, man. We the servants doing this work, you know, and we doing this work in true sincerity and charity and true doctrine, man. Uh -huh. And who the masters that we under, man? The mo the man that the most have set up, man. Okay. Start first of all. Let's clear it up because you know they like to say we worship men. Man. Which, and call it what you want, man. You worshiping the right man. Exactly. Reverencing right. the right man. Exactly. Which is just going to give an honor to them, man. Right. But first of all, we give all praise, glory, and honor, respect to Yahweh. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai, man. man. And that's the it. The top master, man. At the, exactly. It's the top. Start at the top, Yahweh. Then Yahweh Shai. 
Right. Then comes the men that he set up. Right. Now, we're not saying that we're giving the same honor to those men as all praises, glory, honor, and respect. <laughs> Why should y'all shot? That's not what we said. We just said give double honors to the elder apostles because they are worthy. Thus worthy. says the Bible, the man. The scripture tell you that these men are worthy. But honor, the scripture tell you he was going to set that he was going give to give us pastors according to his heart. He was going to feed us with knowledge. You know, Jeremiah the third chapter tell you that. Who fit that category? Who, who giving it to you like that, man? Nobody else, man. All type of... Hey, man, let, 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 let me kick something to you, man. Any man that can been do, that been doing the craft for 30 years knows what he's doing. But then on top of that, man, these men... These are... I'm not... I don't want... The apostles are old, man. Me and this brother right here, we are in our youth. The apostles are way above us, man. Our elders, man. We ain't been through nothing as they been through, man. Even on even on a worldly sense, we haven't been through half the things they've been through. Cause they're half, we're half their age, man. Not so that exactly, man. So a man of that multitude that's been doing this work and just dealing, diligent, man. man. How can you how can you not give him his honor, man? And just to say, man, our elders been around the elders, and you got these young. You know, they they older than us, but, you know, I'm, I'm speaking as a, uh, one man, one one voice. You got them young, simple, you got them young, simple dudes, young, simple niggas amongst Israel that's just talking and spewing out our madness, man. Like, <clears throat> how could you even fix your mouth to say something like they, man, they, they pushing this word out, man. If you can't see that, you don't understand that. Hey, you, hey it Lord, wasn't meant for you to get it. Not, exactly. Not. The Lord, what, it wasn't meant for you to get it. Jump back into the scriptures. It says, I'm going to start from the top. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor. That the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and his doctrine be not blasphemy. Right, man. So what you other camps doing, man, what you all, y'all smear campaigns, man, y'all false lies, man, y'all false preaching of the doctrine. Hey, man, y'all blasphemy in the spirit, man. <clears throat> Y'all going off. Y'all clean going off, man, according to this doctrine, man. And that's a dangerous thing to play with, man. If you see if you, hey, if you knew it was good for you, man, you will stop, you will come out of that madness, man. You will repent for following and listening to them dudes, man. And you will get right according to the true doctrine. Other than that, man, they, them camps is going off, man. They going off by telling you the mark of the beast is not the RFID chair. When the scriptures tell you that. So you tell them the scriptures are lying, you true? Romans three tell you that man. Romans three, uh, Romans three tell you that man. Yeah. Every man a liar. Let, let every man be a liar. The Most High, true. I'm, I'm gonna get it since I quoted it. Yeah. It won't bring it out already. Yeah. I'm gonna just get it real quick since I quoted it. This Romans chapter three verse uh, four. Uh, verse I'm gonna start at three. For what if some did not believe? Shall the unbelief make the faith of God without effect? So these prophecies gonna happen, man. I'm gonna read verse four. Huh? Verse four for. For hmm. God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. God forbid, yeah, how will forbid? Let yeah, how will be true and every man a liar? That's the same thing that's written in Numbers, the twenty third chapter. So and then that's to further prove that everything that's from the New Testament just go back to the Old Testament. Because right. what he say, as it is written, what was it written at? In the law. Psalms, man. Man, come on, as, it, as it is written, man, right? It's written in the law of the song. Hey, the scriptures, like the brother brought out, of course, the scripture, man. He's not gonna change. He the same. He go. He the same, man. He's not gonna change, man. Thank and that's all we tell y'all, man. The most high not changing, man. If a man tell you these Gentiles can be saved, the other nation be saved, he's a liar. The most high is not, because we know through the scriptures. If a man tell you, oh, that's not the RFID, that's not the mark of the beast. He's a liar. The scriptures tell you it is in Revelations, man. Uh, the 13th chapter, man. It, 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 the book tell you all about the truth, man. No man is of the truth if he not speaking this. Come. I'm going to um, finish this out. Go ahead, Salah. This, um, this second, this is First Timothy chapter 6, verse 2. And they that have, be and they that have believing masters, let them not despise them because they are brothers. But rather do them service because they are faithful and beloved. Partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. But right here it just said, let them not despise them because they are brother, but rather do them service. 
And just to say real quick, man, you got a lot of people out there despising these these great men that taught them, man. Mm-hmm. You young, simple niggas, and that's what I'm going to call y'all, man. Y'all despising who taught y'all this word the true way, how to carry yourself like man, how to carry yourself in the world, in the truth, how to preach this doctrine for free, how to um, how to stand strong when they come with that, say you come with that bag and try to sell out, man. They, they been through it all, man. They faithful in this word. 30 plus years, brick cold, hot blazing, rain, all that, man, when huh. Getting locked up, all that, being accused, calling type of name. That's faithful, man. Still doing it, not receiving a damn for it. Man, that's faithful, man. And that's all, faith. All in all, those are the perfect, those men, the apostles and the elders of Great No Stone, is the perfect example of what diligence is. Right, man. Period. Diligent, faithful, worthy of praise and uh, worthy of praise and honor, man. Not the same praise we give to the Most High, but they deserve that. Why? Because they doing this in true, sincere, and cherry to the doctrine, hundred percent, man. Come like, don't don't get bugged out with all the other stuff, man. We all humans. We all sleep, eat, and sh- uh, piss and shit, man. Don't worry about motherfuckers saying your past lives. All that shit is over with. Once you come into the truth, man, you be reformed, man. You 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 put off that old man, and you know and who been doing that, man? Who been doing it the right way, man? Who teach you how to? Die? Who only fit that description? Man at the most I set up a great millstone. I'm uh I'm gonna pull the scripture out real quick. This second you done that? I I know. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead. This is um verse three. It says if any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shai up, and to the doctrine which is according to God godliness. So um, what's what's wholesome words, man, in these scriptures, man. The true way the correct way, man. Going into the prophecies, man. Going into the identity of certain people in the Bible, Esau, Edom, who that is, so called white man today. Twelve tribes of Negro, twelve tribes of Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans today, man. These are wholesome words, man. And a bunch of more things, you know, if you get into the videos, I mean you get into the scriptures and watch the videos that different brothers and the elders do, man. These are wholesome words, man. You just stick to it. Kind of most I set it up, you know. Out to me is for the elect. You know, if you want to strive to be a part of the elect, man, hey, this is what you got to do, man. You got to labor. You got to come under the man at the most I set up, you know, and you got to just do your thing wherever you at. You just do your thing wherever you at and just stick to the doctrine and stick to the script, man. Don't follow after them scoffers, man. Don't listen to it because it's mad. It's no edification. It ain't going to bring you salvation or nothing, man. So why do it? Let me hear verse three again. Go Verse three says. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and to the doctrine which is according to goodliness, no sloppy godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing but dot about questions and strife of words. Wherefore committed envy, strife, railings, evil, some 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 Something, something, some mercenaries, some mercies. Some, 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 I can't even get it out. Some mercy hey, scenes. It's in First Timothy, the sixth chapter, so you can read it. You know, we're not word scholars, man. We just bring you this truth, the, the true way, man, the correct way, man. And, and when I looked that word up, it went into guessing, man. And that going to that Jeremiah, um, seventeen or four, which we we might as well grab that right Come, now. I got, I got you. I got you. Come. And that's the whole deal, man. Because hey. Let's, let's be honest. A guess is just like an opinion. It's not fact. It's not proven to be true. The doctrine is proven to be true. You got the scripture? Uh, uh, con, con. Uh, 17 and 9. 17 and 9. All right, con, con. yeah. Uh, this is Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Now, when it's talking about your heart, man, I believe the um Hebrew word for the um, heart is lahab. And that goes into your mind, man. So the mind is deceitful above all things, man. Mm-hmm. So by you guessing, man, believing that it's this or it might be that, that's BS, man, because the heart, can you read that one more time for me? Uh-huh. Like? The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Dece- who, can, who can know it? It's deceitful above all things, man. Deceit. Going to lie, man. Mm-hmm. So, hey, the, hey, your mind is tricky, man. Like the, like the one song, man, by the Ghetto Boys. My man. mind's playing tricks on me, man. Yep, and it's happening out here, man. Your mind can play tricks on you quick, man. And if you out here deceiving people, man, you tell the false doctor, you spewing out lies and madness, man, so you're the spirit. what are you, man? You a, you a devil if you, you, you a devil if you spreading that madness, man. 
And it's as simple as that, man, because what the word devil go back to, man, a deceiver, man. So with this flesh, man, our minds is wicked, man. Only thing that's good is, man, these scriptures, keeping the law without truth, commanding our best ability, and charity, man. That's the only thing. Man. That's the only thing that, you know, is going to profit you, man. That's the only thing, because other than that, you being a devil, man. If you live your own life for yourself, man, that's vain as hell, man. That's going off, man. I got a precept for you, bro. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in your house with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy way acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear your hour and depart from evil, man. And that's the deal, man. Like the brother just read, the heart is deceitful above all things, man. Don't go, don't lean to your own understanding, man. Because ultimately that will get you fucked up in the end. Yeah. Deal, deal according to these scriptures, man. According to the doctrine, man. You know what it is. You know what it shouldn't be, man. Use these frontlets as your script, as your slot. Use these scriptures as your frontlets, man. And just deal, man. Yeah. Deal and stay diligent, man. That's all it's about, man. Come. Everybody not, like, you know, everybody not going to come out. Everybody not going to be no major teacher, man. You know, pray. Stick to the name, the doctrine, and just pray on your life. And the most I reveal to you, man. Do what you can to your best ability, like you say, man. Come out of that madness, you know. Don't be a nigga, you know. Give all thanks and glory and praise and honor to you. How about your mouth shot? Let him direct your path. Don't let him understand, like, oh, I got to break down and Oh, this and that. Nah, man, stick to the script, man. You know, we need teachers and we need guiders, man. You, you need the points of brotherhood. You need a brother to keep your own point. Come. You know, I might be going off. I'll say some things wrong. i messed up. I got a brother that'll help me, man. True sincerity and charity, man. Come. So with that, we'd like to give all praise, glory, honor, and respect doing to your Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah. I'd like to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, the true leaders of the nation of Israel set up on earth to teach today. And salutations to the brothers out here putting this word with truth, sincerity, and with charity. To you, brothers, I'd like to say, Shalom. Shalom. And abide with all.